morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. I'm sure by now everybody is, um, you know, speaking of and telling stories about Dexter Scott King and his unfortunate passing. Um from prostate cancer and it is just imperative that black men get themselves tested for prostate cancer I called all my brothers the one and well the ones that's here and asked them had they had their prostate uh, examination and <laughs> a couple of them was <laughs> like don't ask me nothing like that, you know. <laughs> Just crazy. A couple of them had, but I'm concerned for the ones who haven't had the examination. This is very sad. You know, Dr. Scott was the youngest, and, you know, of course he gets his name, Scott, from his mom. That's her surname. Um... Coretta Scott King, right? He's the youngest son of civil rights icon Martin Luther King Jr. Um, and he passed away on January 22nd at the age of 62, leaving behind a significant legacy. He had no children. He died in Malibu, California after a battle with prostate cancer. Dexter was married to Leah Weber King since 2013 and were survived by his siblings, Martin III and Bernice. Um, his uh, professional achievements, he was a lawyer, chairman of Martin Luther King Jr. Center. Uh, he was an advocate and for civil and animal rights, managing father's legacy. Wow, place of death was Malibu. Dr. Scott was born into a family deeply re rooted in civil rights activism. His parents, Martin Luther King and Coretta Scott King, set a strong foundation for his future endeavors. Um, wow. Dexter King was not just Martin Luther King's son, he carved his own path as a lawyer and a leader. He dedicated his life to preserving his father's legacy. He managed the King Estate and led the King Center. Dexter was instrumental in promoting his father's teachings and intellectual property. Um, Dexter, his personal life was marked by his marriage to Leah Weber in 2013. He was also known for his vegan lifestyle and his advocacy for animal rights. He turned vegan in the late 80s. This choice reflected his deep commitment to nonviolence and social justice. Dexter King, wow, he worked as an attorney and managing his father's legacy. He also earned from his role at the King Center and his annual salary and benefits averaged over 175000 Dexter King's most notable contribution was protecting and promoting his father's legacy. He served as chairman of the Martin Luther King Jr. Center for Nonviolence and Social Change. Um, I remember, and I don't mean to disparage him in any kind of way, I remember there was some di discrepancy going on with the siblings um, because he was, you know, I guess wanting to preserve the legacy and thought they should be more in the um, money-making business. Um, and I think that some of his, I think he, he either sold some of the, uh, memorabilia, or, and I just remember there was a time where they, they was estranged from one another. Um, 
and I'm glad that they worked that out because a lot of people were hurt behind it. And it had to do with him wanting to, I believe, sell off some of the stuff. That's why when I was, I wasn't so shocked when they said that, that the government owns uh, King's boyhood house um, and even the house that he stayed in once he was an adult with his four children. And that was a bigger home with a long driveway. But I don't know, allegedly, Dexter is responsible for uh, some of those components. And, like, that might have been part of the reason why the family had problems. Um, His legacy goes beyond his network. Uh, it encompasses his efforts to continue his father's work in civil rights and his own contributions to social justice. He left an indelible mark on King's family history and the broader civil rights movement. Wow. Such a young brother. I mean, I, I consider them royalty. And also the Shabazz girls, the King children, these are our royalty y'all and um we have to keep keep them all lifted up in prayer and remember his father played the ultimate sacrifice trying to lead a stiff-necked hard-headed and rebellious people and he it cost him his life and don't ever lose sight of that because he could have stuck around and been raising his children. But he chose to fight for the world's children. And he saw outside his own. It wasn't just his fault and no more. But again, my condolences go out to the King family. And um, Dexter, yeah, made his transition. At 62 years old. But with that being said, you know, if you like what you hear, subscribe and share my channel. I'll see you in the next video.